All right, y'all, we got another video. We got Kamel this time. We're doing another sparring combination of Kamel. He supposed to be next up. Y'all liked the video of Kamel doing uh, the sparring combination last time, so I decided to make another one. It's not going to be that long as the first one because he haven't really been releasing that many sparring videos. He kind of been, you know, made with him, man. He been kind of trying to keep that mystery of him fighting so people want to see him on fight night. Because if you, I don't know if y'all follow him or follow the Florida and, uh, the TMT kind of uh, crew, they post a lot of Camille sparring, uh, sparring clips. And that was because they wanted people to be hyped when they see him get in the ring and stuff like that. So they're they going to try to uh, calm down a little bit on it so people will be ready to see him fight and don't feel like they ain't seen everything in the sparring clips. So expect them to, uh, to kind of calm down on the sparring clips. But we got some that we're going to show. As you can see, Kamel is always fighting bigger guys. He always fighting guys that are older than him. And I think that really helped with Kamel's skills when it comes to defense and throwing combinations. Because Kamel can he can't really knock any of these guys out. They're older, they're bigger. So he kind of realized that he gotta throw a lot of combinations. He gotta be quick, he gotta be fast. And I think that's gonna translate great into his boxing, uh his boxing career and his timing. Kamel knows because he fight bigger guys. His timing got to be on point. He got to be fast. He got to be quick. And I think that really going to translate into his boxing career because even though he's going to be in a 135, who knows? Kamel might want to go up to 145, 147. He might want to keep, not 145, but 147. He might want to keep going up. And I love when guys go up in weight. And when people go up in weight, they get more recognition and they get more money. And... When you have skills, it don't really matter how much somebody weigh. We just seen Uzi beat somebody that was 40 pounds heavier than him. Holyfield beat Jordan Foreman, who was 50 pounds heavier than him. So you kind of want to have those skill set where it don't matter what somebody weigh, you'll still be able to hang in there at least with them. And that's what Kamel can do. Like you see, a lot of these dudes are taking his punch because he's a younger guy. He still haven't got his grown man screen yet. Even though them punches just don't, they hurt, but... It's not enough to knock a lot of these guys out because they're older and bigger, like I said. But you can tell Kamel is just working on his skills, man. Like, this is what you want. You want your younger guy having all the skills that a boxer really needs to be successful and to be a big star. And like I said, Camelo got all of it. He got the he got the left hook. He got the, the dig down to the body and come up top. As you see, look at it. See how he throw that left hook to the body, then come up top with the right hand? That's skills. A lot of people can't do that. Even though they boxers, they can't do it in a proficient way that Kamel has been doing already. The combination throwing is perfect. He digs down with his legs so he can have a little bit uh, more power on it. And when uh, when you're a shorter fighter, you want to get your legs involved into your punching power. That's what Mike Tyson did. That's what Canelo do. That's what Joe Frazier did. A lot of shorter guys, if they get their legs involved, they have more power on their punch. And Kamel do a great job of doing that. Like I said, since Kamel fight older guys and bigger guys, he realized that his defense got to be on point. And it's kind of hard to hit Kamel clean. He do a great job of shifting his body and going back and forth, pitting his hands up, kind of slipping with the shoulders. So I think, man, I think this kid going to be good as long as, he, as long as he keep working because I feel like his skill set is already where it needs to be. You see that? You see, that's just natural, how he just kind of used the right hand to kind of uh, dictate the jab and send it somewhere else. That's kind of natural. Like I said, they've been bending his uh, his skills up for a long time, so the skills going to be there. It's all about Kamel staying focused, training that neck, making sure your chin uh, your chin is real strong, and just keep going and keep doing the same thing he's been doing. Like I said, I've been watching this dude for a while, and his skill set, man, is, is top to none. I mean, he really, like, he got everything. He got the hooks. He got the one two. He got the jab. He got the time. He got the speed. He got the combination. He got everything you would need to be a successful boxer and a star in this uh in this boxing uh this boxing world. And the one thing I do like about Camille, he like to fight. If you seen his last fight, he don't like to play around. He's not uh running around the ring. He's coming forward and getting into these and uh exchanges because he believes he can win them. So. That's one thing I do like about Kamel. He's going to come forward. He's going to give the fans a show, which you're going to need. Like the last fight, he had his hands down. He was just playing around. Well, I wouldn't say playing around, but he just felt comfortable 
giving the fans an entertaining show. And, guys, I don't care how good of a boxer you is, you got to be a fan favorite. You got to give you gotta give the fans what they want. You got to be exciting. That's what Shakira don't understand is that you might be a good boxer and you might can outbox somebody, but sometimes the fans don't want that. And they the ones paying the money. The fans are the ones that make boxers money. So you got to get a fan something to want to watch and want to see. And Kamel do a great job of doing that. So I'm looking forward to seeing this guy fight. Uh, I don't know when he's going to fight again, but I'm looking forward to see him fight in the future and see where this can go. He maybe can be another tank. Who knows? We'll see. He on the floor. Floor going to promote him. I think this is right. His, this is right. This is like Floyd only fighter that he promote, really. <laughs> so we'll see where he go, man. But uh, I'll probably do a Frank Martin video tomorrow, so y'all stay out, uh, stay on the lookout for that. But uh, we out, man.